now let us discuss about Karnoff map in short we can call it as K map Karnoff map was developed by Karnoff so Karnoff is nothing but that invented person name let us see what is the use of the Karnoff map it is a graphical method it is a pictorial representation it is a diagram in order to simplify boolean algebra expressions initiative of using boolean algebra rules we can use Karnoff map so previously we have used boolean algebra rules in order to simplify or minimize boolean algebra expressions but it is somewhat complex process in order to remember all those theorems or all those boolean algebra rules whereas Karnoff map it is a very very simple approach very very systematic approach in order to simplify boolean algebra expressions okay a K map is a diagram made up of squares or cells. So a Karnoff map is nothing but here we will have different squares or cells. For n variable expression, there are 2 power n squares or cells and 2 power n min terms. Uh, so here we can simplify up to 5 variables. So we can have two variable Karnoff map, three variable, four variable, and five variable also. Uh, now let us see how we can use a three variable Karnoff map. So let us assume that the variables are A, B, C. So if there are three variables, then totally we will have two power n squares or cells. Here what is n value? Three. So two power three is nothing but eight. So we will have eight squares or cells. So in the first row we have 4 squares, in the second row we have 4 squares or cells. And one more important point is if there are n variables then totally we will have 2 power n min terms. So here what is n value 3? So we will have 8 min terms from 0 to 7. So 0 means simply we use 4 to 1 notation. So 0 means a bar b bar c bar. So 1 means a bar b bar c. So likewise 6 means a b c bar. 7 means ABC. Okay. So let us see here. Uh, so here vertical axis. This is what? Uh, horizontal axis. Horizontal axis specifies A. Whereas vertical axis specifies BC. So 0 means A value. So A value 0 means A bar. Whereas 1 specifies A value is 1. So th this, this row represents. This row represents A value is 1. Okay. Whereas here the values are 0, 0. So BC values are 0, 0. That means B bar C bar. Next 0, 1. That means B bar C. Whereas what is the next combination? 1, 1. If we take any two adjacent cells, then the corresponding variable must be differed by only one variable. So if we consider 0, 0, 0, 1. If we consider these two adjacent cells, here we have two variables. But these two adjacent cells, must differ by only one variable. 0, 0 is same. Whereas difference is only in the second term. The second variable. Whereas what is the next combination? 1, 1. If you consider these two cells, then the difference is only in the first variable or first lateral. If you consider the last combination, the difference is only in the first variable or first lateral. Whereas after 0, 1, if you write 1, 0, then the difference will be in two variables. Then the grouping will become in, uh, quite uh, difficult. So that's why here after 0, 1, we have to write 1, 1. If we consider any two adjacent cells, then the corresponding, then uh, that variable, if you take those two variables, then only one variable should be different. Okay. So 0, 0, 0, 1. So only one variable is different. If you consider these two cells, only one variable is different. Okay. Likewise, okay. Uh, next, let us see the combinations here. Here, 0, 0, 0 means this cell represents A bar, B bar, C. Whereas, 0, 0, 1 means this cell represents A bar, B bar, C. This cell represents A bar, B, C. This cell represents 0 means A bar. Whereas, what are the B, C? 1, C. So, B, C bar. 
various if you consider this row if you take this one triple one means a b c okay so we can write decimal numbers as this is nothing but zero why because a bar b bar c bar a bar b bar c bar means triple zero triple zero in decimal notation is zero next one next zero one zero means two zero one one means three next this is four one double zero means four one zero one means five six and this is seven okay so likewise we can use two variables or four variables or five variables also we will see all those in the future videos